Syngenta Crop Protection Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on realagriculture.com. So Peter, it's the first week of May and, and one of the questions that's coming up is should we be cutting back our fertilizer rates? Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, so the first thing I think, Rob, you have, to, you have to focus on is, yes, it's the first week of May, but where's the crop at? And so the crop is not nearly as far advanced for this time of year as it has been some other years because it's been so cold all the way through that growth phase. If you look at the research, uh, some research out of Ohio, really, really good stuff. Very surprising. Up until growth stage 32 or the second node stage, as long as you get the nitrogen on by that stage, the amount of yield loss is very, very small maybe one or two percent. Even if you don't get the nitrogen on until boot stage, the amount of yield loss that they saw was only in the range of 10 percent. You would not think that the wheat plant could, could catch up that much, but it, it apparently can and do very, very well. In this particular field, this is an advanced field in this area. It's barely you know, pushing towards growth stage 31. It's just at growth stage 30. And so we have at least another 10 days in this particular field to get the nitrogen on before we would consider that we had very much yield loss. So if there's no yield loss, why would we cut nitrogen rates? At this point, I, it's stay the course. If we get to that second node stage, then we'll start thinking about, are we losing some yield potential? Should we back off those nitrogen rates? But there's no good science right now that would say, slow down on nitrogen. Let's get the crop going. Let's get here as quickly as we can and get some yield. Great. And people...